Welcome to Be Better TV with me, Phil Eccles, your host, your guide for this ride on the road to becoming better. And um, today, I want to bring you my two words of inspiration. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate the support. Um, first, before I get started, I want to give a shout out to UW, University of Washington, um, my boy, Sarah's boy, Blake DiCasola, um, is getting his master's degree there. And uh, I want to thank him for the t-shirt, give him a shout out. Um, the end is near. Hope everything is going well with your, your, your master's degree. And um, don't forget that, that book that we talked about, working on that book. Keep that in the back of your mind. Um, whenever you're ready, we'll get started on it. So let me know. Anyway, uh, moving on to my two words for today. Two words are grow something. And these, these words, these two words are very important. They run parallel with my message of, of growth, personal growth, spiritual growth, um, becoming better. Um, two words, it, it's, it's important to, to be able to cultivate and, and, and grow something and see the fruits of your labor come full circle. Um, when I was a student at Hampton University, my professor, Dr. McQueen, said, that he gave us the, the, the suggestion of keeping a plant in our dorm room and you know it's the confined space plants would be good to help with the oxygen soaking up some of that carbon dioxide and um, it's just a good habit to start forming at an early age um, another fond memory that I had growing up was working with my mother in our, our garden that we had in the front of the house um, in Martinsville um, it was huge because at the time you know, we were planting seeds, we were watching things grow, and, you know, I'm in education, she was in the field of education, and that was huge that we were planting seeds in the garden and planting seeds in people's lives, and that was just like a huge parallel that came to me. Um, that, was, that was just one of my fondest memories of my mother, like working side by side with her, planting things, working in our garden, even though at the time I didn't want to, but... Um, she made me do it, and now I'm very appreciative of it. So sometimes in life you have to do things that you don't want to do that you will appreciate later on. Um, Ralph Waldo Emerson has a quote that says, Earth laughs and flowers. And I think that's a very important quote or statement when, when thinking about personal growth and um, spirituality and just blossoming into the person that, that God would have you to be. Um, I think it's great that you, you could grow things and you know watch it come full circle and see the fruits of your labor. Sometimes those things, those seeds that you plant, you may not be able to see the the outcome. You may not be able to see the the growth. Um, but just the, it all begins with one step. The journey of a thousand miles begins with one single step. So planting that seed, growing those things, and um, just knowing and having faith that it's going to turn out exactly how it's supposed to. Um, thank you for tuning in. Check out my post. Read what else I had to say. Read some of the other inspirational quotes that go along with this message. And I appreciate the support. I'll see you next time. Have an amazing day. Thank you.